right, so I'm at Publix right now, and I'm looking for a spaghetti squash. And they didn't have any over by the squashes, but I asked the guy, and he's actually gonna go to the back and get me my own special spaghetti squash. So that is the benefit of coming to Publix every single day and knowing the workers by name here. <laughs> And here are the spaghetti squashes. I'm gonna make a spaghetti squash um, meat sauce. Well, a meat sauce with a lean ground beef. Um, and I'm gonna put it over spaghetti squash. I have a ton of cucumbers, a ton of tomatoes. Um, I have some onion, three lemons, because these go good on anything and give it flavor. And some shrimp. Yum. Alright, T. <laughs> what did you say? Big ass juggly balls? Uh, it feels like I got big ass balls right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna film you walking. Okay. It's amusing. Turning my strength training session on. Okay, okay, Bolly. It's actually really cold. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cold ball. All right, ten reps. Let's get it, T. Great, good job. Come on, don't let that big ass juggly ball weigh you down. Come on. Up. You got it. Up, 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 up. Nice work. Don't mind my wrist strap. Let's go, T. Come on. Come on. I can see you now. Hey, come on. You got it, T. Straight through, chest up. Good work. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Good job. Okay, it's gonna go. Two. Good. Six. Awesome tea. Halfway. Good job. Good weight? Awesome. Okay, here we go, girl. Second set, 10 reps. Eight reps. <laughs> She's like, fuck that, I'm not doing those two. <laughs> here we go. Good job, come on, halfway, four. Straight through, chest up. Good. Nice. She's going in for the kill. 35. Let's go, T. Come on. Six reps. Come on. Two. Two to go. Up. Nice work, T. Let's go, Teresa. Good.
job. Job tea. Quick. Good tea. Drive it up. Good. Yep, here we go. Right, nice tea. Good job, last four. Good work. Good job, T. I wish that I could, but I'm not logged into the program um, that is, enables us to check this. Last one. Drive it out, good. Okay, Miss T, here we go. I do. Ooh. <laughs> Mixing it up this week. Single arm bicep curl machine. There's nothing really magical about this exercise. We've just done so many different bicep variations in our last 13 training blocks that 
Hey, nice to do something new. And Teresa looks jacked as heck. <laughs> We're doing this exercise all the time. <laughs> nice. Good job. <laughs> gonna give you a compliment and say look at that sinewy chicken wing <laughs> and I was like that's a kind of an insult it's more like a thigh fillet or a drumstick look at that drumstick <laughs> <laughs> mate if I had a drumstick like that oh. <laughs> Nice. Good tea. Squeeze. Good job. just pulled in I'm gonna go get my nails done I have not had my nails done since like over a year ago um, when I got on stage for that show so we're getting closer and closer to the show day and I'm gonna get a little glammed up get my nails done probably something really natural um, but my goodness I just I never get nail cleaning and I can't have nice things so I know I would break it it's similar to um, like purses and sunglasses I just I can't have the good stuff because I I can't take care of it <laughs> so I will show you the finished products so they look like now very ratchet looking. Um, but we're gonna get cleaned up so let's go finished product look at that little almond cut who am I I got just something very very natural good morning guys hope you're doing well uh, I am waking up it is now 8 30 but I've been up since like 4 a.m. Um, I have a body fat percentage testing I'm getting done at the USF physique lab and I'm gonna get three measurements done I'm getting a um, caliper test in body and an ultrasound so um, those are the starting data points I used before I started dieting and now that we're very close show I want to kind of get um, an assessment so I can compare uh, the relative change from my starting till now. Um, I'm really hungry. I have to go into this fasted. I may do my RMR testing again. I'm gonna wait and see. Um, but no food or water, and I really just want to have coffee. <laughs> that's kind of what gets me through my morning. But um, another thing that's been rather eventful this morning, guys. I started my period today. I'm like sick of talking about it because I feel like every time I vlog, I'm talking about how I'm waiting for my period to come, but I'm literally 12 days late. I thought I just wasn't gonna get it, um, but was still feeling all of the symptoms. Weight has been up, been a little emotional. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just felt super crampy and I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna get it. Finally came, so I'm a little bit relieved, but at the same time just, you know, 
there's water retention and bloating that comes with being on your menstrual cycle. So now that I've started, it's kind of all downhill, but that happened this morning, which means I probably won't be on it for my show. So that is good news. I'm also really curious to see if having a little bit of extra water retention being on my menstrual cycle will affect my body fat percentage testing today. So I'm curious, but I'm gonna take you along and you guys are gonna see if there's any changes. I hope there's changes. Let's go see. shoot before you know how energy consuming they are photo shoots are no joke um, it's a lot of work it doesn't sound like it but it's a whole lot of mental brain work that goes in behind planning a photo shoot and then doing it so I didn't mind the drive here it's a little bit far from from Tampa it's like three almost four hours but uh the long drives give me time to think, clear my head, get mentally prepared, dude, because next week is my show. So I hope I'm ready. No one talks about how, it doesn't matter how many preps you've done, you probably never feel like you're going to be ready, honestly. But um, I definitely think that I'm better than I've ever been, but I guess you can't really have any expectations when you go into these shows you just you never know you never 
never know. So we'll see. I'm going to take this next pink week leading into it. Some grace and uh, excited. Very excited. So see y'all on the flip side. All right, guys, just to catch you up here, I couldn't do a ton of behind the scenes stuff of my photo shoot because we were so busy, but we got some really cool location. Really excited to start sharing those photos once I get them, get the previews and get them edited. So it's gonna be good stuff. Uh, I'm actually here at the NPC IFBB seminar here in Miami as well. Um, so if you're coming for the posing clinic and um, just informational seminar about kind of what they're looking for in the division's criteria and um, posing information. So this is going to be kind of cool to see everybody um, chugging a protein shake before I get in there. And yeah, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. We actually got some really great shots at this gym uh, in Miami called Legacy, and it was so cool. So I also had a couple donuts this morning right before my photo shoot, because um, not only did we do some beach shots, but we shot at this really cool location. It's a gym called Legacy Fit and got some really good physique shots. And um, yeah, I needed a little bit of filling out in my muscles just because I'm in pretty pretty flat from low calories throughout the week so um, a couple donuts did the trick I got really vascular got some good pumps and they were great for the photos can't wait to see them and so I've just had a couple protein shakes today and most of my carbs and fats are going to those those two donuts I think I'll have room for a chicken sandwich later that I have plugged into my macro tracker uh, but keep you posted and stay tuned guys I am coming to you one week before my show it's currently Sunday and peak week literally starts tomorrow so I am wrapping up this episode by kind of concluding my week and to talk to you a little bit about what my peak week plan is if I'm gonna change anything and I'm gonna tell you right now nothing is gonna change that much I am going to continue with fat loss up until kind of the last minute um, I'll probably start peaking my carbs and calories around Wednesday, which is new. I'm trying something a little bit new this year. Normally I start peaking like on Monday, I'll taper down on calories. Um, and then from there, just kind of see how I look, trial and error. And if I need to fill out more, I will eat a little bit more. Um, but this time I think I still wanna get a little bit leaner. I still have a little bit more time. As far as water and sodium go, not a whole lot's changing. If anything, I'm just staying on top of getting my water in and um, just being very consistent with sodium and water, not a whole lot of highs and lows. Um, and you'd be surprised by just getting in adequate amounts of water, how much it makes you start excreting fluid. So that's kind of the plan. Um, I've been practicing my posing. Um, my goodness, I think normally around this time, I'm starting to get nervous and I start having a lot of doubts. And this year, although I do have a little bit of those feelings, like very small and subtle in the back of my mind, this year feels different. I don't know what it is. I feel more excited to get on stage and to kind of show what I've worked for. And I think the most important thing to remember 
for myself, but for anyone who is competing or you know, maybe you're new to competing, is you have to go into these shows like with zero expectation as to what the results are gonna be. You know, because of course everyone wants to win, everyone wants to do well, but you're not in control, really. The only thing you are in control of is the time and the effort and the dedication that you put towards your prep day in and day out. That's the only thing in your control. And then when you get to that stage, you let the, the leaves fall where they may, so to speak. So um, I'm just excited to, to go do it. It's, it's been a really good prep. I've pushed myself, I've worked my ass off with not only this prep, but my improvement season as well. I took an entire year off to increase my training volume. And according to some of the data that I just got at the USF lab, all of that time off that I spent in a caloric surplus, progressively overloading my training paid off. I gained muscle mass. And as a result, like I weigh heavier. And that was a little bit of a mind fuck during this prep, I'm not gonna lie, because I was expecting my weight to just keep going down to where it was in my previous prep. However, I'm, I've built so much more muscle now and muscle holds density. So, um, gosh, no two preps are the same. I'm gonna say that because uh, you weigh more, you have more muscle development, you get to a leaner body fat percentages, your posing looks different, you get to know your body more, um, your confidence changes, so I'm really excited. This is just my first show, so um, I'm definitely excited to get feedback from the judges. And if you guys don't know already, um, I am going to be competing at the Border Clash. They're having it this year in Orlando, Florida. Um, so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can when I'm there. You guys know I'm new to YouTube and vlogging, so sometimes I go through my week and I just, I literally forget to film things. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm slacking in that department. I'm still working on it. But um, for those of you who have been watching my YouTube series and you're getting some value out of it, um, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Um, it's always hard to kind of share your journey because you're like, who the hell would, you know, I live a pretty, not a boring life, but you know, who would want to learn more about what I have going on in my personal life? But um, I can kind of imagine why people would want to see it. So I am sure. So I am sharing it with you guys in hopes that it could help you in some way on your fitness journey, even if you're not a competitor, but someone who um, has body composition goals and physique goals and just wants to feel better about it. Um, this is my journey. As always, if you have any questions about nutrition, um, Teresa at Iolane is my work email. Other than that, send me comments. Um, Tell me what you want to see, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. I'm still learning this process too. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks again for watching and supporting me along the way. Talk to you soon.